Hey folks, welcome back to Combo Class. This year, 2024, there was a very rare occurrence that last happened in the year 1803 and will next happen in the year 2245, exactly 221 years in each direction of the current year. The event that will be happening in each of these years is a massive emergence of insects. And since it happened again this year, I figured it was a good time to explore this insect arresting connection that mathematics has with nature. Now, a lot of types of animal have times when they emerge or times when they're sleeping or hidden somewhere. Often these cycles relate to the day, like sun, then nighttime with the moon. Sometimes the cycles are longer, relating to things like months or even years. And sometimes the cycles are even longer than a single year. The main type of animal we're going to be looking at today is a small sort of bug known as cicadas, or sometimes pronounced cicadas, or cicadas, or cicadas, or I guess you could pronounce this however you want. These insects won't be emerging everywhere this year. They have particular habitats, for example, the eastern portion of the United States, whereas I live on the western portion of the United States. Although I wasn't able to interact with these bugs directly. A friend who lives closer to them did send me some videos of what they look like. Now these aren't necessarily the most fun insects to have around you. Apparently they have little prickly legs when they land on you and they're really loud when they flock in a whole swarm. But they are quite interesting bugs when we look at the cycles of when they emerge. This type of bug is doing something very interesting this year that hasn't occurred in 221 years. Now to understand this phenomena, we're gonna need to think about some clocks and some prime numbers. Prime numbers being the numbers that are divisible by only one and themselves. So why is 221 the number that does this? If I wanted to create an area of 221 using rectangular side lengths that were larger than one, the only way to do that would be a 13 by 17 or equivalently 17 by 13 rectangle. That's because 221 is the type of number known as a semi-prime, where its prime factorization consists of just two different prime numbers multiplied together. And it turns out that this prime number relates to one particular brood of the insect cicada, and this prime number relates to another. And the fact that they're both emerging this year is why the number 221 shows up. Now, all of these clocks have 12 hours, but let's say we had some alternate clocks that had different amounts of hours on them, yet still progressed to the next number at the same speed. Imagine we had a clock that ran 13 different hours in total, as opposed to 12 or 24. Ah! And imagine that we had a clock that ran 17 different hours total. These two clocks would only overlap once every 13 times 17 hours due to 13 and 17 being primes. So if these cycles started at the same time, they would only overlap again 221 hours later. But what if we were not talking about hours, but years? Some types of insects live underground in colonies that only emerge into the upper worlds on a cycle of some amount of years. Like maybe they do emerge that year, but they don't emerge those years. Now, a lot of these cycles, as far as how many years it takes them to reemerge, 
are prime numbers. And there are many reasons why prime numbers could show up in nature, because they're very fundamental to math, and math is very fundamental to nature. But one of the main reasons why prime numbers may show up in the cycles of some animal would be to dodge the predators that could eat that animal. Like, let's say there was another type of animal that came out every two years. Well, if it came out every two years, you wouldn't want your cycle to be two, four, six, or eight, or any other even number amount of years. And what if they instead came out every three years? Well, you wouldn't want yours to be a multiple of three then. You'd want to have some cycle that wasn't a multiple of three either. And which numbers are the multiples of the least amount of things beneath them? Primes, because if my cycle was a prime number, then I won't always get hit by a predator unless it is some multiple of my cycle length. Like if I have a five year cycle, I would only get hit every single time by a predator that comes every year or that comes every five, 10, 15, or etc. amount of years. All of the smaller cycles would sometimes be dodged. And although cicadas don't fall on a three year or five year cycle typically, they do often fall on either a 13 year or 17 year cycle, which are both prime numbers. Cicadas coming in prime numbered cycles not only makes them dodge certain predators, but also makes them end up dodging other cicadas as well. Like many of the different broods of cicadas that have evolved in different locations are periodic on either a 17 year cycle or a 13 year cycle including this year's Brood 13, which ironically is the 17 year one. They're named with Roman numerals that don't correspond exactly with the cycle length. And Brood 19, which is the 13 year one emerging this year. Well, this Brood 13 here wouldn't emerge alongside any of the other 17 year cicada cycles that started at any other year than it, similar to if you started two clocks at different times, but they were running at the same speed. And this brood wouldn't line up with any of the 13 year broods that started separately from it. There are several known broods of 17 year cycles of cicadas and several of 13 year cycle ones. And so there are some years where one of that type emerges at the same time as one of that type. And the last time that some 17 year cicada brood emerged at the same time as some 13 year cicada brood was just about a decade ago in 2015. But we noted that something very special is happening this year that hasn't happened in more than 200 years. And that's because, for one, these two specific broods of cicada are quite important. Each of them could be known as the largest periodic cicada brood in their own way. This one in terms of the size of the cicada swarm emerging, and this one in terms of the size of its geographic spread. And when we look at one specific 17 year brood compared to one other specific 13 year brood, it's like we had one clock that chimed every 17 years and another that chimed every 13 years and that will only end up chiming together once every 17 times 13 years, or 221. Thank you for joining me today to learn about some places where mathematics shows up in nature. And if you want any bonus combo content such as live streams and shorts, make sure you're also tuned into my Demotro channel. And special thanks to the people who help make this show possible, such as my Patreon supporters. 
And thank you all for watching. I'll catch you in the next episode.